Hey guys, if you are someone who often gets stuck in emotions and you feel like it leads you to awkward situations like you would hurt yourself and it will create a spike of anger or maybe you often find yourself getting offended by people around you or you feel annoyed and you can't even understand why you feel so or you are someone who often gets stuck in sadness or stress is your issue whatever emotion it is, I'm sure that it impacts your life quite a big time and possibly you would like to change it in order to improve the quality of your life. So this is exactly what is this video about. I'm going to share with you a great technique that is perfect for improving the self-regulation. And what's fantastic about it is that it is super easy and extremely effective. For those who don't know me, my name is Daria Albert, I'm a breathwork teacher and I run my own breathing school where I teach people how to improve their lives through breathing exercises. I'm so passionate about breathwork that I have spent my entire career researching it. I'm also a free diver, so I hold my breath to go deep and discover the underwater world. And I've created Breathing Gym. It's a platform where I share all my knowledge. It's better than YouTube because it gives you a structured approach on how you can learn the skill of using your breathing as a biohack from your body to become healthier, feel better, be more productive and much more. And you can join it as well by following the link in the description to this video. All right, breathing is something that we do all the time, about 20,000 times a day. Can you imagine? 20,000 times a day, that's roughly 7 million times a year. It's one of the most frequent actions we do. But yet, most of us don't even realize it. Just think about how often are you aware about your breathing? How often do you feel that you breathe at all? The reason why it's important to bring your attention to your breathing from time to time is that because breathing is unique among bodily functions. Breathing can happen fully automatically without you even thinking about it, but at the same time you can take control over your breathing. So you can change the speed of your breathing, the depth of your breaths, or you can even stop to breathe altogether or breathe in a weird manner. Now you might be wondering, why would I want to control my breathing? Well. It turns out that when you control your breathing, you can actually influence your nervous system. Your nervous system is like a command center from your body. It controls everything inside of you, from your heart rate and digestion to even the way you behave and perceive the world around you. By focusing on your breath and intentionally changing its pattern, you can directly impact how you feel both physically and emotionally. Technically, this is the main goal of breath work, to learn how you can change the way you feel through breathing. So when you look at emotions, the first thing that changes in your body when you experience emotions is the way you breathe. Just think about how different your breathing is when you are stressed and when you are calm. Do you see the difference? When you are annoyed versus when you are happy. When you are angry versus when you are peaceful. I guess you got an idea, right? Now, how can we practically convert this knowledge of understanding that our breathing is changing in the emotional reaction to actions and become better in emotional self-regulation? Let's look at this from this perspective. Imagine two points. Point A and point B. Point A, it is you when the emotion started. And point B is you when you realize that the emotion is there. In point B, you are also aware what the emotion is and what potentially started this emotion. Between point A and B, there is a distance. This distance, it's a time that took you to realize that you are in an emotional reaction. So the aim of this technique I'm about to share with you is to minimize the distance between point A and B. 
In a perfect world, we want point A and B to become one and merge with each other. This would mean that you are aware of the moment when the emotion started and you also understand what potentially triggered it. The skill of training yourself to decrease the distance between point A and B allow you to actually change the direction of your emotional state. This is because you will be able to take actions in the moment when the emotion is there, just starting, just a little bit there. So that will allow you to actually change the direction of your emotional state. This is exactly the moment if you have it merged together with each other, when you can use a specific breathing technique that will lead you towards dealing with your stress, annoyance, anger, sadness, or whatever it is, right at the point. So, how do you decrease this distance between point A and B? So, how do you decrease this distance between point A and B? The way to do it is that you need to train your brain to constantly bring your attention to your breathing because by analyzing your breathing you can better understand your emotional state it also makes you more aware of what is happening inside of your body the most effective technique to achieve this is to continuously remind yourself to focus on your breathing until it becomes a habit the best advice i can give you to start developing this skill is to do this simple exercise set an alarm on your phone or watch to go off every hour that you are awake when this alarm sounds pause and focus on your breath for one to five minutes feel the air entering your and leaving your body feel the rhythm of your breath and just analyze all the sensations in your body and ask yourself what am i feeling right now here are some of the main things you should pay attention to first do you breathe through your nose or through your mouth generally speaking people switch to mouth breathing when they are stressed when they are angry or when they are unhealthy if you breathe through your mouth because you are unhealthy it's a whole separate conversation. But if you usually breathe through your nose and suddenly cut yourself breathing through your mouth, it's something to pay attention to. Second common pattern that can be observed is the way you breathe. Do you breathe slow, smooth, quiet and without interruption? Or your breathing is rapid, bumpy and you might even unconsciously hold your breath once in a while. These are also signs that indicate that you are not calm and peaceful. There is something going on inside of you. So it's worth spending a minute to analyze what you feel and what caused this unbalanced breathing pattern. Third, people who deal with sadness or even depression state would often feel like they are not breathing at all or that they are unsatisfied with their breath. It could be experienced differently, but it's often this sensation that you can breathe in fully and enjoy it. And Finally, the last common thing that people would feel when they observe their breathing is that they feel some tension in their body. It could be tension in different parts of your body. Most commonly, people would experience discomfort in their belly. It would feel like something is squeezed in there. It also could be tension in your chest. You know, this feeling that there is a blockage. Many people would also share the feeling of tightness or discomfort in their throat when it physically feels like you have something in your throat and sometimes it even cuts your ability to talk because emotion takes over okay so these are some of the patterns that is kind of handy to observe in order to understand your state and to be a bit more aware of your emotional state i know it might be overwhelming at first to remember all the things uh, to pay attention to to make it easier for you guys in the description to this video i attached the link to download the pdf file that will help you to navigate in all these signals that your body tries to communicate to you through your breathing. In this file, I explain in more details what to look for, what does it potentially mean and what can you do with it to improve. 
So it's going to be pretty handy for you to have this file if you are serious in your intention to become more emotionally stable. It's free, just go below this video and download it. Now to summarize, first go ahead and set up the alarm for every hour that you are awake. When the alarm rings, bring your attention to your breathing and analyze it for a few minutes. Second, follow the link in the description to download the PDF file that will help you to read your bodily signals better. Remember, just this simple thing on its own is 50% of success in becoming better at managing your emotional state. The next step which completes the other half of the self-regulation process is learning to implement specific breathing techniques in the moment of emotional reaction. Depending on the situation, different techniques can help you calm down, energize yourself, boost happy hormones, or even shift your emotional state entirely. This is a powerful skill that one master can help you navigate through the ups and downs of life with better resilience and economy. This is exactly what I teach in the breathing gym. I teach you how to understand the impact of different breathing techniques on your body and mind so that you can use them as a biohack to improve your physical and emotional health. In the online breathing gym platform, you will have weekly breathing practice that you can directly implement into your life to feel better. I believe that it will be beneficial for you. Hope to see you there, guys. Follow the link in the description. And thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it. It's easy, just click a button below and it's extremely helpful for me. And if you feel the need, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to train your breathing, guys, and I'll see you really soon. <laughs>